And now shifting our focus away from all the cricket euphoria in other global news, French voters are set to cast their ballots in what is seen as the country's most consequential polls in decades. The legislative snap polls will take place in two rounds, with the first of them slated to take place rather begin in just a few hours from now. Voting opens at 6 a.m. GMT and is expected to end at 1600 hours GMT in most of the country. But polling stations in Paris and other major cities will stay open until 1800 GMT. In France's overseas territories, however, the voting procedure started on Saturday itself. Residents of the tiny French archipelago of Saint Pierre and Macaulay off the coast of Canada were the first to cast the ballots in the first round of the election. Que quand bien même on habite à l'étranger, on reste citoyenne française, ça ne nous détache pas de là où on vient. On dit j'ai de la famille là-bas, euh, j'ai encore, je veux dire, j'ai encore ma vie en France d'une part. Donc pour moi, oui, c'est important de voter étant à l'étranger parce que on peut tôt ou tard, on ne connaît pas l'avenir, je pourrais effectivement rentrer dans le, au pays. Et, euh, France's islands in the Caribbean and the South American territory of French Guyana also voted on Saturday. Voters hit polling stations in the Pacific territory of New Caledonia as well. Well, French expatriates in New York said they follow politics in France very closely and are all very concerned. Je pense que c'est important de voter, oui, où qu'on soit. La France nous propose de voter, y compris quand on n'y réside pas. Je pense que c'est important et de à nouveau resserrer le lien et, et euh, montrer qu'on appartient toujours à la communauté. The second round is due on the 7th of July, at the end of which France will have elected the 577 members of its National Assembly. Two young leaders are gunning for the Prime Minister's post. 28-year-old frontman of far-right Jordan Bardella is squaring off against Prime Minister Gabriel Attal. The elections come after French President Emmanuel Macron called for a snap poll after suffering a crushing defeat to Marine Le Pen's far-right National Rally Party in European Parliament polls on the 9th of June. Well, polls suggest that the upcoming elections will confirm the trend. According to the polls, the National Rally leads strongly with 34% of the vote, followed by left-wing bloc. We're talking about Nouveau Front at 28% trailed by Macron centrist alliance on Somble with 21%. The French system is complex and not proportionate to nationwide support for a party. Let's now take a look at how does it work. Now legislators are elected by district. A parliamentary contestant requires over 50% of the day's vote to be elected outright. If there's no clear winner, the top two contenders alongside anyone who secures over 12.5% of votes will head to a second round. In some cases, three or four people make it to the second round, though some may step aside to improve the chances of another contender, a tactic used in the past to block far-right contestants. Key party leaders are expected to unveil this strategy in between the two rounds. And uh, this makes the result of the second round highly uncertain and dependent on the political maneuvering and how voters react.